Good morning, guys. A good, great morning to all of those who tuned into the realest thing in the world coming to you from Guyana. How many times have you been at crossroads in your life? There are so many times that we try to look past what's going on in our life, how we're affected and what we're going to do, how we're going to do it. You know, when I'm having these personal experiences, I, I, I think one of the things that dawn upon me is how are other people dealing with their issues? How are people addressing their issues? Are they covering up their issues? Are they shying away from their issues? You know? Looking at some of the stories we're going to cover this morning, a young lady was almost crushed. You're going to read the police report, and you're going to read. You're going to look at the video, and you understand that no matter what you do, the world is not a fair place. You could end up in an unsavory circumstance totally outside of your doing totally outside of your doing Rockcliffe, good morning um, Margot, good morning Kesh, good morning Rini, good morning Kamala Babita, good morning to you good great morning to all who tuned in and who have lent their continuous support. You know, for la maybe a year now, I've been grappling with bits and pieces of my life, and I come here and tablet and I say, well, I'm going to address this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And one of my, always one of my problems used to be my willingness to suit my environment. People who are progressive people don't really adjust themselves. The, the, the whole premise of progress is doing something very well that you do. Not confirming to your environment and the people around you and no. You do what you do well. And I look at things and I can it. why am I not always on a progressive, successful path? Because sometimes I try to conform to the environment around me. I try to suit the environment. I try to smile when I don't really want to smile. You know, I look at it and I think if I just continue being the beast I am and go out there and slay every day. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Morning, good day. How okay? How could I be of help to you? I'm okay. Wait, I'm about to... Why the fuck you call me this morning? State your claim. What is your issue? We're going on, brother. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Arch is a fan. Or Where you call for? State your claim. I'm just talking about the fact. You know what's me problem? Me problem. Somebody come and tell me, man, you gotta be more nice. You gotta be more reason. And and I start being nice. And I start being an asshole. Yeah, a nice asshole. This is the problem. 
It's last night I realized that I'm calculating. You worrying and caring too much about things, you know? No matter what things gonna happen, things gonna fall into place, everything is gonna be okay. Good man, when I watch your profile as a security guy, you wake up and go and do what you gotta do. Where's a friend request? Hello, hi, good morning. What are you doing in your life this morning? You're calling them, you don't know who you're calling. You're calling a go getter. Why would you think the two of us that are on the same level that you're calling? No, the only reason you need to call me is when you need something. You take advantage of my good nature. This is the problem there, you know. Advantage of my good nature. And my mother said, never take advantage of good nature. You take advantage of the fact that I'm going to answer my phone no matter what the circumstances to waste my fucking time. That's the problem. That's the problem. You know he's going to answer. You know you could call critic, you could rely on critic answer. Hence you call for waste my time. Hello, however. Do you have a problem? That's the only reason you should be calling me. If you need a problem aired or a problem solved. You ever hear always talk to my mother? Morning, mommy, how you doing? You feeling okay? Yes. All right, take care, love you. Story done. Oh, you hear gray, you look nice, and how you feel, and if you eat apple and oranges and Sometimes I sit down, and you call it a rude awakening. I'm sitting and I'm looking at myself. Why don't you come on 7 o'clock every morning? You wake up, why don't I come on 7 o'clock every morning? I don't have a probable, a proper, plausible explanation. I need to come on 7 o'clock every morning. By 8 o'clock, this program needs to be done. Something is wrong with me. Why haven't I lose the 26 pounds that I want to lose? Why don't I have a flat tummy? I've not been doing what needs to be done to get it done. I'm bullshitting. For the last six months, I'm bullshitting. I've looked at that. Why are certain aspects of my life in disarray? I've been dodging, taking on the issues head on. This morning after I finish this, I'm going to a meeting in Tapui with everybody. Find out what is where, what is going on, blah, 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 and tell them what I intend, how this is going to go down. I'm going to list all my issues, 100, 101, 200, 300. And then I'll deal with them one at a time. How are you addressing this in your life? And the reason I'm telling you guys, there are things outside, there are things in the circumference of your environment that affect you negatively and positively in different ways at different times. But there's nothing more in your life to affect you or steer you in the right or wrong direction more than yourself. It's all dependent on you. We're going to talk about that today. How does the Trump win affect Guyana's politics. We could say fairly Trump is not someone that interferes much. 
Trump is not someone that likes conflict and war. He shows that in the past. He's willing to settle wars immediately. He's willing to put an end to wars. He campaigned on that. Hello, good morning. A uh, very good morning to you, sir. Yes, my brother. How uh, can I be of assistance to you this morning? I hope you could help, sir. Um, actually, what happened, I'm calling from Better Hope. What's going uh, on in Better Hope? You're supposed to know the, the street that led you from Better Hope scheme onto Rises Road. Better Hope right? scheme, that running straight to the seawall. No, Better Hope scheme is between the, between the public road and the line tap. Oh, they got two bridges. They got two roads coming out there. No, one road is only one you could drive across. Actually. That is by where guiding, guiding. What a contractor you sell for the car there? Yes, guiding, right? Roger. Actually, when you come out of that old scheme for Tornant of Rises Road going towards mm. the railway embankment, mm. there is two vehicles parked right on the corner of guiding. Mm -hmm. You cannot see nothing coming from the public road if you if you come. Have you made a complaint to the NDC? Yes, sir. And it's Take out pictures and send it to me. We'll post it up. Thank you very Make much. Make sure you get a vehicle number. You know, is who house it belongs to there in front of the owner? It gotta be the same people that live at Guiding House. So it's gotta be one of the buyers them or so. Nobody is a vehicle, it's a truck and a, and a SUV. Right? That'd be sons. Quite some months now we park there. Alright, let's see how let me see first send the pictures to me. Okay, you, sir. I would get Because I, I know them guys, one of them guys is racing thing. So if yeah, you could yeah, talk yeah. to them and get them for move before it reaches the embarrassing stage, if you can't get to nobody and get nobody number, I'll just okay, post it sir. up. Roger that. Okay. Brother. Thank you very much. Chief. Most welcome. Uh, bye bye. Yeah. Um oh well, that's a positive interaction. Now, not to say the first guy didn't call, that call didn't mean well. But remember, we is a serious program. He just catch me the morning when he wake up and say, yo, you got to get your act together. You got to get serious. You understand? Because a lot of times people don't understand how you're, you can't be nice. You could be polite. You could be caring. You can't be nice and bending over backward and be fronting and progressive at the same time. If you're bending backward over, people are walking over you. You're not going to do things when you need to do things. And a lot of times I get caught up in things where I'm worrying about how people are going to feel about what I do. I try to, you know, I try to change so many things in my life. No. It comes back to haunt you. You got to wake up. You got to wake up and say, here, you want progress. You want progress for everybody in your life. But this is how, this is the part that I got to take to progress. Me ain't telling you about going and do nothing wrong, you know. I ain't telling you about going out your way. I'm telling you about simple things. I need to wake up. And... Not only the people in your life, your life, personally. I need to wake up and have a program every morning by 7 o'clock. Now, people are going to say the time change in the U.S. The reason the numbers are high now, because we're extra early. The time change in the U.S. I can't do anything about that. The numbers are going to be low during this time period. Simple as that. I'm a little heavier than I'm supposed to be. It has a psychological effect on me. I don't even like seeing myself when I'm home. I don't wear... I don't go without shot. Normally, is that normally bare brief. I don't go without shot because I'm looking at my tummy and I'm calculating. I want to get rid of this. Why haven't I got rid of this as yet? Tabu, uh, Tabu, good morning. Lorraine, good morning. Vec, good morning. Annie, a good, great morning to you. I don't even wear a day in the house without a shirt because I'm looking at myself and I have disdain for myself. 
that has a negative effect on me. Because I know what I have to do. I haven't done it. I haven't put in the effort. It has a negative effect on me. I'm telling you, I could only imagine what people are going through in their lives. So I'm, I think I wake up this morning, 7 o'clock. Normally I'd go watch TV and watch monk and I'm going around. Come around. No, no, no. Get up, washroom, listen. While I'm in the washroom, while I'm shaving, I'm listening to Jordan Peterson. I just go on and listen to a random YouTube video of Jordan Peterson. Being a clinical psychologist, most of the things has to do with attitudes and mannerisms of human beings, why they do what they do, and everything else. So it plays right into my thing. My area of issues. You got to do what you got to do. Sometimes, like here what I realized last night. I thought I was doing everything right. But then I got some things wrong. I thought I knew what was right. I thought sometimes if I don't touch this thing, I don't move it, you know. You don't drink water when it's needed. You're not gonna get dehydrated. You might chart a little water. But let somebody, let's say somebody's doing something here. And I don't want to distract them. So here I say, man, here I'm no. I can't drink this water no. Yes, I wait till they don't do it. No, 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 no. Fuck that. I don't want to be dehydrated. I drink your water. Yeah, you do what you're doing, I do what I do. These are small things that look funny. Somebody might be talking on a phone and you're in the parameter with them. And your phone rings and you know the two you are talking the same that can't work. So you say, man, I can wait. No, 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 no. Ask for an excuse, move off. Just show the person a sign there on the phone, move off. And you go answer your call. Both of we gonna get a call at the same time. We gotta do what we gotta do. And a lot of times, when you look back at your life, you realize it's the little things that you've been doing. You waste a minute here, you waste a five minute there, you waste a ten minute there. No, 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 no. I normally, I'm a very hungry, aggressive person. To the stage of bully. And in an attempt to suit my environment, I start becoming mild and cool and laying things right. I might need to let more things right than I do now. But I used to blame myself if I look at something and don't say about it, I, I think to myself, I'll become uncaring. My modus operandi as it relates to driving, my style as it relates to driving, changed drastically when I came back from India. Because I saw the hustle and the bustle, millions of people. I to, and if you were to vex in India with somebody nearly jamming you, you would vex whole fucking day. If you were to go to the police every time, when somebody jam your vehicle, you live in the police station. Cause it's whole day, cars jamming one, people blowing hard. And I driving coming down. By the wrong, the button, I'm tearing coming from the inside of me. Nearly jam me this morning. And I'm like, oh shit, what, what the fuck just ran with this man? And I just got about my business. Forget about he. No work up, no hard feelings. And normally, Normally, if it is interactions, I think, man, I, I seem uncaring. If you see something going on and you don't see anything about it, I just feel like I'm being uncaring. But what I didn't ask myself is, did anybody ask you for help? 
Nobody asked me for help. I forged my way into that situation. Nobody, nobody asked me for help. Make it known, and this is something enlightening to me. Make it known with everybody around you here. I'm here. Anytime you need me, you call me. I just understand and I realize here. If we get it clear, anytime you need me, you can call on me. Compared to me going around worrying. I wonder if you're hurt. I wonder if you think. I wonder if you're hot. I wonder if you're cool. Yes, eh? And you really and truly don't give a fuck about my care. And my worry. The funny thing is, my care and worry was totally unnecessary. It is me. It is not the individual. It is me who have a distorted frame of mind or understanding of what is needed in this environment. Here, partner. Son, anytime you need me, you can call me. We could talk about things. Do you think we need to sit and rehash maybe once a week? Hon, if something is going on, tell me. If you see me going off track, tell me. Let's talk about it. Do you think we need to rehash two times a week? I'm not going to go off and be totally oblivious like monk and uh, I've lost my mind and I don't care. But is it me caring or me being inconsiderate of other people? Like, oh, look, look, something fell. Do, do, do people care if something falls? I can't remember anything falling from me in a long while. So if you've got somebody that's fucking clumsy, maybe they like being clumsy and things falling and, yes, and, and imagine you'd be, hey, look, you dropped that, hey, pick that up and... Uh, no, fuck that. You like doing what you're doing. It's happened steady. Like we're walking and stomping the two. How much time you stomp it? There's an eye me. Like me. I think I put my thing in my bag. I make sure I'm a, my thing zip. You understand? I think about what I do before I pack it and this and that. And I got myself organized. You imagine me there behind somebody. Oh, look, 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 look this thing. Maybe there's a part of how they do things. It's just something I have learned. And you know, every time I learn something, I impart knowledge with you guys. Right? This integrates into this same thing here. Now, this is an incident that happened, was said to have happened yesterday. And I want to impress upon you the fragility of life. And it comes back to the same thing I'm talking here just now. So there's several people in the road corner. One individual. And when you ask yourself why human beings act the way they act, is the same thing, a realization. When you see people in telling people, cheering nothing no more, and everything just goes the way or array in some cases there's several people in a road car and one person walk out and gonna walk in front of the truck the hot funny thing is this truck driver's now locked up because a girl decided to walk into he fucking truck he can't do nothing about her somebody walk into he truck this truck stop right now this is on Grove Public Road. Is Grove Public Road? It's Grove Public Road. The traffic is bumper to bumper traffic. A clueless, possibly brainless 15 year old walk across in front of the truck. Obviously, fearless walk across in front of the truck. The driver 
who might or might not have a family. Because nobody ain't going out and running them truck the for rum battle. Truck work is hard work. You will put an effort into these things. Now the driver has been arrested. You're going to read the police report. And I watched there. Let's watch the video. So man riding a bicycle, everybody stand up here. No, you got more than one people want to do more than one thing. This is the somebody walk across in the traffic. Now she watched this truck driver. No consciousness that this truck got to come after. Right? No understanding. I don't know how you turn 15 or how you be when the road. I don't know. If she had problems, she had stress, no consciousness. Now, this is a blind spot. If you look at the truck driver there, this is the top of the truck inside, right? Let me go forward a little bit more. So this is a blind spot. Watch here. Watch where the truck, bottom of the truck went scream there. Truck driver head the back somewhere inside here. This is a right-hand drive truck. So he did up here with the head inside here. He just moved off. She, she walking across. Not even conscious that this truck moving. And the truck has started to move. Look at what can happen here now. The man just put his mouth. She put your hand. Everybody stand up watching. Nobody made a move. And this is the funny thing. Sometimes you just got for see we can play out. Because let me say, if you the run here now, and I blame a lot of people not for jumping into action. But if you the run here and push, she try to push you to the way she did not knock a car and who ran? I learned that no matter how we want best in our lives we are responsible for our own lives and when we do that caringly when we do that caringly I think life would be better for all of us I think we are now a civilized people. We are at a different stage. I'm talking about as Guyanese. And let's be mindful of others. Even in being caring. Does somebody want that? When do you do it? How do you do it? Let's be mindful of our interactions with others. Let's be mindful of our environment. And I think it will change the dynamics of our success. Because after my experience, I think right here I wake up and I say, it's right. I'm not saying not be caring. I'm saying be mindful. Like my mother, I go by me mother. I say, mommy, like come clean up the place. We said, no, 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 you can't come to the house that children. And I'm calculating, you have people here, you have a nurse here. It's set up a kind of environment, but this you want. If it reaches stages, nobody wants to be around you because of the environment you create. This is your fucking problem. What you could do? Are you willing to pay the expenses for the nurses them as well? If she creates an environment that people can actually mommy enabled in a clustered place with all these hoarding thing, old thing, and all them thing, no. 
What I could do about that? I can't do nothing about that. I done all I could done. I, I have done all I could have done. If she go about making people miserable and uncomfortable, nobody wants to be a caretaker. What the fuck I could do about that? I can't do nothing about it. I have done everything I could have done. Simple. No, you have people who are going to run about and fight with what I'm saying. Many of them are out there. You see them. I got partner, Wayne, the 45-year-old virgin from Light Street, Alberton. Still there with him, you walk him with his mother. His mother has never released him to come out of the nest, and he has never released her. Let's look at this. So she walk across here. Bam. I don't know if she try for come back, run back or what. No, here laugh. It is so serious. She stand up on the road, watching the road. It is so serious. I want you to watch it what these people do. Now why you watch it with so this man put out his hand asking himself is what she doing? Right? He put out his hand asking himself, what's she doing? She get pulled there. Mean if she get hit by another vehicle on the outside, come back under the truck, truck man, run up on she to some extent, stops there, look at the man, he turn and he ain't go for help. What you going on here? The two of them Natural instinct wasn't to run to hell. Was to turn away. And here now, not even turn away there. Walk away. Their natural instinct wasn't to help. Where does that come from? How do human beings get like that? I understand their demeanor. Normally I would cost them. But I understand their demeanor. Because when you run there and the police come, use the first body, you gotta go and give a statement, long, 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 long fucking story. Like you're wasting your time. You lose a whole day because of whatever she do. You gotta listen to the police. But you see this clear as day what happened, right? Watch, everybody walk away. People walk away. They walk away. Walk away. Somebody get crushed there. And they walk away. Not render no assistance. They even go for sea. Right? Let me. Let me see what this person telling me. Um, you can see my. So they, he like he got a little fucking gate tendency. The same one. Why he put the cost on his money? Pardesi name is the story in the WhatsApp, right? Um, you can't say morning. More like if I got all the time in the world for fuck around with these people. This was got deal. So when you say deal with it, me will read the message. I up on me live, busy like a ras. Seven oh five he wap me can't say morning. And seven oh six he calling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sir. It's a man he want. It's a fucking man he want. That's the problem. What you can't say morning. You just wake up morning and, and tell him banner morning. 
Hmm? So let me read the police report as it relates to this accident. It's a long, long thing. I'm glad to see. Now, y'all see. She walk in front of a truck. Right? Y'all see the for y'all self. Let me hear what this police report is about. Female pedestrian survived serious accident at Grove. Hospitalized in a serious but stable condition. Larry driving in custody. But you driving down the road, doing all you could do. You just stop and now you driving half. And somebody walk in front of you and you scunt. And the whole world see. They got video. Bear in mind, the police accept that they see the video. Re relative to viral video. And everything is viral. But I don't know what, what consists of a viral video in Guyana. Relative to a viral video today, of that was yesterday, of a female pedestrian being struck down by a lorry on the public road at Grove, East Bank de Marara. The driver has since been arrested and the pedestrian is hospitalized in a serious but stable condition. The serious accident occurred today, Wednesday, at about, that was yesterday, Wednesday, 9.20 hours at the junction of Grove Public Road and Caneville, Samantha Point, Main Access Road. East Bank Demerara. The accident involved motor Larry, to get a number driver, 42 year old male, and a female 15 year old pedestrian from Caneville. East Bank Demerara. Inquiries disclosed. As seen in the video and based on investigation, the Larry was proceeding south along the east turn drive lane on the public road at Grove East Bank Demerara in the lane of the vehicle traffic. As the lorry approached the Jumbo Bridge Junction, the driver stopped before another, behind another motor lorry, which was proceeding in the same direction to allow vehicles to proceed west out of the access road. As the lorry, which was in front, drove off, the driver of the motor lorry started to drive off, continue further south on the road, and whilst in the process of doing so, the 15-year-old pedestrian who was standing on the eastern side of the public road started to cross the road from east to west in front of the motor lorry. The left side of the lorry collided with her, and as a result of the collision, the pedestrian ended up underneath the lorry, where she received injuries. Public spirit citizens assisted the pedestrian remove her from Underneath the lorry, the ambulance service was summoned to the scene and short, shortly after, a team of emergency medical technicians picked up the injured pedestrian and placed her into an ambulance. She was conveyed to the Diamond Diagnostic Center where she was seen and examined by doctors on duty. She was then referred to the Georgetown Public Hospital where an emergency surgery was performed on her hip. She was later admitted as a patient suffering from a hip fracture and other injuries. Her condition is regarded as serious but stable. A breathalyzer test was conducted on the drive of the lorry and the results showed no trace of alcohol in his breath. He was arrested and is in custody at Grove Police Station. The motor lorry was large. You imagine you fucking driving. You ain't drunk. Somebody walk in front of you get locked up. You imagine though, all we see what happened to you, then they lock up. For what partner? At which point in time people take blame for their fucking actions, partner? You imagine though? You imagine the police put in a report? If trampling for people, you imagine seeing what happened. Knowing what happened, testing, and know nothing out of the way in happen, and the driver is in custody. That's why this society can't come straight. Imagine getting wrong for being right.
kind of society are we living in? How do we want to be considered to be civilized people? You read, there's a police report, buddy. There's the, pol the police report clearly accept that the driver is not, is not no fault of the driver. And the fuck you driving in the lock up? A man go out for earn a daily bread for his family. He driving a truck. In there, look at this. In there, too close to the corner. In there, too close to the corner. What you going there? In speeding. What you going there? He move. She walk across in front of this truck. Right? Watch. In speed, no moving half. Watch. Was able to stop within 15 feet. Right away, stop. Done everything right. And get payback in every way wrong. Stop as soon as he hears something. Stop right away. In run at the scene. He wasn't drinking. He pull out fast. He went too much in the corner. He went too much outside. Too many times these truck drivers just be wild in the road. That's the truth. But how? How do you get lock up for this? The whole world see what happened. This is what is considered to be ridiculousness. By the way, that's how the law is set out in this country. So the law is set in a way to trample on people's rights. The law of this land is set out in a way to trample on people's rights. You imagine a man spend a night in the lockup for dog? Sad state of affairs. Sad state of affairs in Guyana. This is the next one. Watch this one. I'm all riding down the road. I don't know we paying attention to. We head there. We worrying about. Hello, good morning. Morning. Yes, brother. So, the truck driver mm -hmm. has to take a liar and defend himself because he's not wrong. My brother, he what? should not have to. That is what I'm saying. No, no. He's no. not wrong. Not only that he's not wrong, he doesn't have to provide a defense. A defense by video has been provided for him. Yes. Yeah, the mean, police I should have I taken would... his particulars sent him home and tell him, tell him when to come back. Correct, correct. But the police they won't have to take advantage of the man because they're looking for bread. It's a bread they're looking no, for. No, no, no. Well, let me tell you, this is a standard process in our system. If somebody has serious injuries, the police hold you. We are looking at it now and you realize. Good. That the laws does not serve well and is trampling on people's rights like it is trampling on this driver's rights. Good. One more thing. Yes, you sir. Would you be smart, be market. We get to rob, rob the man. Mm -hmm. What happened there now? The guy with the... We rob every day, we rob a man. We get chopped up. All parties involved got what they were looking for. 
I could say that. Mm -hmm. You understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the circumstances yeah. of the kind line of business that the youth um, took a part, yeah, yeah. he got what he was looking for. That's right. The man who did that, I can tell you, the man who did that has also been charged for murder. He got what he's looking for. This is a yeah. unique situation of win-win, lose-lose. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now, win and lose, yeah. or lose and win. Win-win, lose-lose. One more part. He clear as he know what he did, right? Who's that? The guy was there. He, he from me, he know what he did, right? I would want to think they knew he was a thief. Because they have, they're the happy all the time when they rob people. Well, the honest truth is, I have... unsavory characters that I would want to think that I know are family members. But am I responsible for their life? Time and time again, I have come and denounced them publicly. When that time come, they've made a mistake. I have it on record. But me and I got right. nothing for do with that. All right, I can say one thing. Mm -hmm. All the time, you live in luxury life. You rob the people, you get it from nice. Mm -hmm. They smiling because you got everybody nice. You understand? Yes, yes, you yes. You got a close sunny. So, you know you have it, you're walking? No, but I got no. They are smiling too. Remember no, no, but there are many families like that. They now are facing the consequences of their actions. They no. all have to pay for it. No, ma'am, get frustrated. Okay, get the rap steady. No, 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 no. He didn't get frustrated because he got it. He, he wasn't, he wasn't robbed. So you get robbed. Now you get robbed. Not he get robbed. He took actions into his own hands. He dispensed vigilante justice. Now he has since been charged for murder. Oh, I got it. Got it wrong. Then it you got, got it wrong bad. He was a bystander. He was a businessman in the area that took it upon himself to attack the bandit. Now, but here, still, I, although he was wrong for being there, the premise for him being charged for murder is because that is not a sentence and he can't dispense justice. That is what the citizenry have to know. We are not bestowed as citizens with the power to dispense justice. The legal process and the judiciary, the judicious process, is one that was thought about for the most part to secure people and to serve justice to all. How does that work? People, people of a legal background sat and came up with laws relating to crimes that they thought were suiting at the time. Some laws are antiquated. If that young man was caught with the gold in his hands by the police, taken to the lockup and he admitted and he went to the magistrate court and he pled guilty to his wrong actions he would have given been given a sentence of the most five years he would have not been sentenced to murder if that young man had committed an act and murdered someone a child in cold blood or a woman or somebody brutally murdered them in cold blood and he went, was caught by the police, and he went to court and admitted his guilt or was found guilty by a juror of his peers, by 12 jurors of his peers, he would have likely been sentenced to death or life in prison. You understand? So there are yeah, yeah. different penalties for different actions. If he was caught with all the gold that he stole, he would have spent and found guilty he would have spent and he still had the opportunity to represent himself and dispute that he tried to steal although he was caught with the goal he might have get off on a technicality but if he was found guilty his five years of jail he was supposed to get <laughs> the man who chopped him about his body was not bestowed he's not a magistrate 
Magistrates don't do that. He was not a judge. Judges don't do that. And when judges sit there to hear your case and give you the defendant justice in cases like this of murder, it is a juror of your peers, people like yourself, 12 people for so make sure nobody wrong you. I know what I know. I know. A lot of effort yeah. goes in to the process. You understand? It's not perfect. So right. the man who picks up and decides he's a vigilante and he can chop and listen up, he too. I'm not saying the young man, if you're right. there wrong and you play with the sword one well, these days, like he, he fell on the sword. Right? So it's a win-win, lose-lose situation. Yeah, yeah. Everybody right. is paying the consequences here. Thanks so much. One Most more welcome. Thing. Yes, sir. You did a great job for me in LBI. The road is five minutes in and five minutes out. You're most welcome, sir. Cross a runner, man. In yeah. and out. Really, man. Good. Thanks so You're much. most welcome, sir. You can't dispense justice. This way, you know. You gotta run and catch it. Say, yes, we catch you, Steve, man. Me catch you with the goal. And that is what that businessman is paying for now. Because he decided on the others, there are others to be charged. The businessman alone can't be charged. They got several people who acted as vigilantes at the time. They all need to be charged. You understand? Thief man dead, mean a sorry for he. Yeah, thief man. The he business. But I am also saying if you gonna go and dispense justice, the system works. Let the system work. Close to me. Oh, we got to talk a little bit about Trump and what a win for Trump means in 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 terms of Guyana politics. Yeah, I was calling to say that um, you know, with all of these scenarios, uh, Guyana is coming out of a very archaic situation, and you already brought up the point, so I don't want to really rehash too much of what you said, but. You know, coming out of a, of, a, of a country where you don't have enough police and small villages and, you know, and I'm talking 60, 70 years ago, this, this culture of dispensing justice, you know, when you look in India, it's the same thing. When you look in Africa, it's the same thing. These, these small mindedness, these people, they used to be able to do these things. You catch somebody sleeping with your wife or stealing or doing all these things. The country has to change. The laws have to keep up with the modernization of the country. That's my two cents. Thanks. Roger, brother. So this partner, I don't know what battery need. What son is mine? You know, looking at this place, we shouldn't be talking about this. This is not Guyana. This is not Guyana. There are too much. This is not Guyana. There are too much things here. So look at the black paving on the ground. Let me show you. So first thing, this is a community with concrete drains. The first community that get concrete drains and major roads like this is Diamond. Right? This is in Sornam. So let's do it since we're already here. And a lot of people sharing it and not conscious that, well, it's not Guyana. And these are some things you got to look at. We get carried away sometimes and everybody is anything. So the second thing you have to look at, you see this kind of block up here? Good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, Mr. Critics. Yeah. Freddie Kissoon owe me an apology. 
The last time when I call in on this program three months ago and tell you that the Trump go with you know the man to have the phone on me. Press off your phone on me. Tell you got to go apologize. Good. Roger that. <laughs> so here now. When I'm looking at this, so you see the fence here? This is them slide aside gates. We know coming into the right the design the gate. This design, the, the construction design. Then when you go into citizen, yeah, I like this is the electronic gate. You see the motor the here? We know coming into these things, right? But we got these things too. We know coming into these things. But if you look at this area, it's an old area. It's not a new community. We knew with these things 10 years now. We really, everybody going with electric gates and all these things. This is an old area. You look at the ground and thing. But you look at something that, and this is, a, this is not a commercial area. This is a housing scheme, wherever it is. And I'll identify a number of different things that will show you that it's not Guyana. So this is brick in the yard, stone in the yard. Guyanese don't do that much. Guyanese is either grass or straight concrete. This here so is a kind of block they put in the yard. Like these tiles, right? But it's, it's, it's like clay bricks. It's like bricks. But what moreover convinced me is not here in Guyana is... Watch, another thing that you see strange. In one area, you identify now, there's a ramp going up in this house. So this place high. Guyanese always build a yard lower. You understand? They always build something in the fucking yard flood out. They know about global warming. They move into the community with flooding and they building high. Watch it. You see the ramp up there? That's going up in the yard. The next thing, this whole street is bricks. We don't have brick streets here. You understand? We either got asphalt thick. Look at it. Look at it. The, the, the checkeredness on the, the thing there. You understand? So you buy maybe Sornam, the building design and the houses and so on. It might be Sornam in one of them communities. Let me see what happened. Bam. Oh, God. Let me see if you can get up. Yeah, you hear even the dogs barking in a different language. <laughs> well, that's just me there on kicks. But... No, no, seriously. The, 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 the song like the dogs are barking in a different language? Here, 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 back. Wara, 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 wara. Yeah, man, the dog them barking in a different language. It's like the choosing the bark. You understand? Know I like guy. He's like, it's only confusion, right? The dog them. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? Hello, hello. You know? The dog them all barking in a different life. It's a different country. It's not, it's not Guyana. I'm going to pick up something. You see, letterbox. We are not known for that. Right? All of that. You got so many things here, man. So many different things. The fence, watch here. A man built a house in Guyana, watch. If you look, this is over you're watching, right? And that fence is so high, you can't see the man window up in the house. Watch out the man black with you. A man built a fucking little house here. He want everybody to see he front window. He want to see outside. You understand? He want to see outside. Hold on, brother. Hello, good morning. Hello? Good morning. Hi, good morning. Hey, Cortex, where could you call the former chicken gizzard from? Chief. You got a nice girl here by chicken gizzard, you want? <laughs> yeah, man, I this chicken. girl, this girl, whatever this profile is, who are chicken gizzard you looking for? You looking for the rag thing? You might need some coke cock <laughs> for this thing. Don't read them, whatever you got it. <laughs> Hey, you need other thing, buddy. Yeah, watch, watch, watch. He can't. What's wrong with these people, buddy? 
What was that? Let me screenshot the girl. We can put you in it now. Let me find out. We can put you in it now. You post up a girl. I like things like they post up a girl. And then. And then. Hold on, hold on. Let me get it right. Hold on, we can teach you something. Yeah, they're good. You gotta know how to stay good. Right? Man, some people don't know when they're good for stay good. You are chicken gizzard this man. You know? Increase resolution. Check in here. Any girl? No, 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 no. The profile picture is of a girl. That's what I'm telling you. What the man girl profile picture? And like she backsliding is them girl would take out a picture from back, you know what I'm Like in reverse. Like if she doing the moonwalk. Cause she got a little body and thing, right? So when them girl in a much brain, they just do a, a body. A body pose, just call it. When they got brain, there's pose from the back. So it does pique your interest. You know what I'm saying? They got different pose. If the fat is just here, you just get <laughs> face. Yes, you know sir. If they got issues, just get your left side or a right side. If the shirt, just take out a picture and just raise up one wow, foot so, like a hard strut thing. Yes, you know sir. If the tall, good looking and shopping with little body, just take out a picture from the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I study them, you know. I study how they take out photo. You know. So I told you guys I had a discussion with Trump and Kamala. Let's let's talk about that. Um I can post up your girl picture and I can put up your number so the people could call and get the gizzard for you. Everybody gonna wanna help she with the gizzard, right? You can get the chicken, 40 pound chicken gizzard you want, yeah, you'll get them, don't worry. I can post up the picture and post your number so people can call and get the gizzard for you. I could only imagine watching your girl, but yeah, everybody gonna wanna help. <sighs> We're going out here. Hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on. Is what are you going to do? Trump, when I went and met Trump and Kamala Harris. Now y'all know I illegal. Is this people country and I just still put Trump in there? Look, let I pack my bag and go and take this little jail. Yeah, I'll tell Jack, do I am on my way to make Guyana great again. I hope all of y'all in Queens who holler but make America great again. It's illegal like me and get any family that illegal. Good morning, loves. No, no, no. She just pulling a thing. She don't start she's shipping this already. So this is the picture. This is um So recently Trump is the new American president. What does that mean for Guyana? Right? Um, Republicans are a business-oriented people. 
The Democrats over the last five years or four years, I think elections of every four years for America, um, have, there's a reason that, that Trump won overwhelmingly. Trump has said some outlandish things. It's unbelievable what Trump would say and what Trump planned to do. But that is what America wants. The Democrats have allowed America to be overrun by immigrants. And America, to some extent, have become a very lawless place, to some extent. Trump promised certain things. When I spoke to them, look, look, there's a pitch building, there's a Photoshop. I talked to both of them, I tell them, my area, I'll kiss and make up. Don't worry, don't stress with things. We're stressing over. This could pass as a Photoshop. Damn good Photoshop. Yeah, this could pass as a Photoshop. That's a damn good Photoshop. By the way, by the way, <laughs> here we're telling you, better to come in Guyana. Once we get no interference, Trump played an integral role, by the way, in making Granger aware that he needed to go. Yeah. Trump mightn't have everything correct, but says what he's going to do and does what he says. And that is what you got to respect about that man. Now, the Attorney General, the New York Attorney General, who went and attacked Trump. And who has been very facilitative to who has been very facilitative to lies and propaganda We're going out here part of it. Suspect in stage multi-million dollar robbery arrested by police. Eight million in cash recovered. Wow. Part of Victor, 37 year old resident of Rosignal is currently in police custody assistance with investigation of a stage multi-million dollar robbery yesterday. Facts part of visited. Prem Prem Dio. Premdio Victor visited the Michael police station yesterday to report that he was robbed of 10 million by three men with gun wearing ski masks and dark clothes and anything. Victor told the police he was driving and taking the cash of Rosignal after receiving it from Cambio in King Street. He claimed that the gunman braced him off the road in another car before robbing him. He claimed that he claimed that the money belonged to a jeweler from Rosignal and he was transporting cash for the person. After being questioned by CD, it was suspected that Victor's claim was fictitious, which led to further questioning. Victor later confessed that he had made a false report and he actually staged a robbery and steal the money. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can't trust nobody. You throw the man, trust him and start giving him... Start giving him... Um, Oh my God, it's so difficult when you can't trust nobody. Donald Trump's first thing on his agenda is to deport. No man, no man is a citizen. Good morning, a bus just turned over in good faith, my Coney, with child, school children. Oh my God, I hope there's no fatalities. Yeah, so Trump. I see a stable political atmosphere for Guyana under Trump. 
I feel secure about our next election because Trumping a cease chipping is going on. Yes, eh? Trumping into playing stupid and doing stupid. It's Trumping at everything. You know? So I am saying we got a stable like this and stable thing. We as you realize we get in with Akin Jeffers and, and, and US politicians interfering and all in the confusion with people being stopped and at, at the airport and, and, and all the politics that is playing out out in New York. I don't see that happening with Trump. Trump very direct. If he got something to tell the guy in his leadership, he'll tell them. So I think we could go in to the next election, rest assured. Air finale, obviously, based on his performance, is gonna win the next election. Sweeping seats. Obviously. And once Trump is president, there will be no interference. No political interference. Right? Let's see what Trump is going to do in the next 100 days. Trump's performance from now to Christmas will tell you a lot about Trump if you didn't know. Right? Again, guys, keep it real. Always keep it real. Peace out.